we are going to be diving into PEMF. So let's dive into what are the benefits of PEMF. Let's talk about PEMF. And, you know, I can't, you know, start a conversation without talking about dysregulation because it's so important. And, you know, we are all struggling with regulating our brain and body. And when that happens, a variety of issues can result, right? So we can have understimulated, we can have overstimulated behaviors and issues. And you can have on the understimulated side, you can have things like ADHD and learning and processing problems and even anxiety or depression. On the overstimulated side, we can have things like OCD, um, trauma, um, uh, anxiety, depression. It can show itself differently. And that's what a dysregulated nervous system can look like. And there can be both under and overstimulation. And I think it's so helpful to start seeing the brain and the nervous system like that. Because when we start to say like, wow, is that an understimulated or an overstimulated behavior? We can get much better at treatment. And that's why so many people, you know, come into me and, you know, I've had the privilege of working with thousands of people over these three decades. And I really educate them about a dysregulated nervous system and how to regulate and teach, right? Our one-to-one -one program is brain behavior reset. So we want to make sure that we're using the tools. And PEMF is a tool that I have been using for nine years. Um, and that is why we created, and just to know what, you know, PMF is, it means pulse electromagnetic field therapy. We're going to talk about what it works. We're going to talk about the benefits um, and how to use it, right? Because this should be a solution you're considering. And I'll tell you why, but in our center, we were working one-on-one -on -one, and we have this huge machine, machine <laughs> that people sit on this cozy um, t desk and, and table and uh, they're able to get services in their, this beautiful chair that's really comfy. And we put sensors on people and how does PMF work? Why do we put these sensors on people? But what was happening is as much as I love her in center, PEMF, people needed accessibility. They needed to be able to, you know, have a device, as I like to say, you know, be calm anywhere on the go. And that's why we created this, which is actually the identical technology. It's just an affordable device. How cool is that? Um, but let's talk about what it is, how it works, and then we'll go into it. So what is PEMF, which is pulse electromagnetic field therapy. So it's a type of therapy based on frequency medicine and frequency uh, medicine has been around a long time. And just to understand, we know the frequencies of everything from what's the frequency of a strawberry, what's the frequency of a virus, what's the frequency of certain kinds of gut bacteria. And so this device, right, and I'm going to talk about PMF in general, and then I'm going to talk about mine specifically and the technology behind it. But what happens is in PMF and most devices, right, and there's no bad device, it's what you need. Most are designed for just general nervous system regulation and stress management, right? And there's mats. Mats are not bad. I just wrote a media article for, I forget what publication, about the benefits of a mat. I have mats. The problem with the mats or even the device we have in the office is you got to slow down and use it. <laughs> we created a portable device so you didn't. But what it does is it sends a free signal to the cell, disrupts the cellular communication, and comes in with a corrective communication. When it is a general device, it is going to give you frequencies that help to calm the nervous system, right? So that will um, have a lot of benefits. Absolutely, right? That's why we call it calm PMF. So everything that you can do to calm your nervous system is going to help you, right? Um, so the first thing it does is it changes cellular communication. Now, what's very unique about our device is that we have custom designed them specifically. We've tested them in our clinic over 
eight years before we, we did ours, um, mini device. And we have three specific kinds. So one for attention and learning, another for infections and toxins, um, and another for um, anxiety, stress. And the anxiety, stress one also has an intention protocol. And I'll go over all that. But these are specifically designed for those needs, okay, where a general device, right, an amp coil, a beamer, good stuff, they are really just trying to help the nervous system, help the body in a very general kind of way. There's, there's not an ability to have these different protocols that are targeted, right? So, and no matter what device you get, they, in ours, uh, our COM PMF, they all support the gut brain connection, they support common genetic mutations, they support calming the nervous system, and they support sleep. So, because I designed, I made the protocols based on, like I said, testing them for eight years. So, that's the first part, and that's what really sets our device apart. And there are not many devices on the market that are programmable and allowed to target very specific things, right? And that's why people do very well with their device and, and coming into the center as well. So, one, changing the way the cells work, making them be healthy. And research, 30 years of research, Research shows you the efficacy of this, which is really kind of cool. The next thing it does is it pulls you from a stress state down into a parasympathetic state. Okay. And so why do we want to be in a parasympathetic state? If you've been listening to me, <laughs> you cannot think properly. You can't take action. You can't pay attention and nor can your body heal properly if you are in a stress activated state sympathetic dominant state. So we need to be in a relaxed state for our brain and our body to work properly. This is why so many people in the pandemic with height and stress levels were being diagnosed with ADHD and given Ritalin like candy and we ran, we ran out of, you know, stimulants, psychostimulants. Um, and please know Ritalin, Adderall, and Concerta are the same. Everyone always thinks that Ritalin is the bad one. So they're all the same. They just have different kickers of what time they go out. The same pharmacological underpinning, right? So just a little fun fact. Hopefully it's an aha moment for you. So we can't focus. And psychoimmunology tells us that our body in a stress state will try to go and find out what the stressor is and ignore what it knows is a problem. And that's why so many of my PANS kids, my people with autoimmune, uh, you know, MS, there's so many people I've worked with in chronic disease states, helping their physical body by helping the stress response in their body. And it's really easy for your nervous system to get jacked up. We're living in 2024. I mean, that's just what happens. Um, so, so one, the cells, two, pulling you into a parasympathetic straight state, and three, the major thing impacting, you know, mental health that we're all starting to realize is it supports detoxification, which then reduces inflammation. So that is a triple benefit and it's pretty incredible at how it works. So let's talk about some of the basics, some of the things that people ask. Everyone always wants to know how is PEMF different from EMF? So EMFs are unhealthy frequencies, right? And what PMF actually does is it helps to eliminate disharmonous or unhealthy frequencies. So it actually helps you to remove EMFs, which is kind of cool, right? So it's helping your body, right? We're changing that cellular communication. We're putting in, we're telling it and cueing it with healthy frequencies. So I mentioned scientific evidence. Again, 30 years worth of research. Um, it's not as it's not as old as neurofeedback and biofeedback, but 30 years worth of research is generally safe. Um, the people who should never use PMF is if you have any type of magnetic device, whether it's a pacemaker or a shunt, um, you are not a good candidate. And you know. In, in America, they don't recommend PMF for pregnant women. Um, I do have young kids using this with supervision of <laughs> an adult. Um, and it was so cool. It was amazing. Um, I did um, an intake last week with 
this rock star kiddo who has pans, but she is like serious athlete, right? Young kid. And she got on the screen to say hello to me. And right away I saw that she had our, um, our little fanny pack that she was wearing cross body with her sports equipment. And she wears this all the time. She wears this all day and it's really helping her um, with her pants. And it was just so awesome to see her. And she was like, oh yeah, Dr. Rowe, you know, like I love this thing. And it was so great. And the parents got to tell me some of the benefits that they were seeing. Um, so let's talk about health benefits of PEMF. And this is through research. And I'm also going to share some anecdotal, just like I did in that beautiful kiddo, right? So we know that it's supporting cellular health. And so there's lots of different different ways that that can show up in a body. So one of the primary uses actually is for pain, um, also anti-inflammatory, and people are using it for stress, anxiety, um, panic attacks. They definitely have a bunch of people who have panic attacks. Um, and so there's some really solid research around both the emotional components, but also the physical parts. Um, definitely, I use it in chronic health conditions, right? Not just physical health, but also mental health conditions. And because we are addressing, right, the under an overstimulated brain, even though a lot of people I'm seeing, it's a lot of overstimulation, a lot of overstimulation. Some of the other benefits, what, how do I see people using this? Like when people come to me, so, uh, they're using it in a variety of ways. So I have kids with learning and processing problems. And so they're using the attention and memory one. Sometimes they have anxiety and learning issues or attention issues. So they'll get the anxiety unit, which I'll go over some of the pieces of what it has, but they'll use the anxiety unit to help um, address some of those pieces that are obviously related to stress, but they all, it also has a component for focus. Um, and then, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people, so just so you know, you can purchase the Con PMF um, outside of our Brain Behavior Reset program. That's why I do this education about it. But a lot of our people in our program do get it because they want to have long-term benefits. And Dr. Rowe, I use mine every day and I have all different versions. Like you heard, I have one, in, I have a mat, I have big equipment, all the same base of technology. It is the same PMF. Um, in the center, we have center, uh, sensors that can be targeted in certain areas. And I have a much broader range of protocols. But what I did is take the most common protocols, the ones that people really needed and benefited from. And we made this device. So let me just show you this device because it will help. And I hit a button and it's really cool because it says it's going to be okay, right? But it has different protocols. Um, for There are six protocols. So six protocols, three time links. There's a one hour, a two hour, and an eight hour. And as I said, all protocols are going to support sleep, the gut brain connection, um, they're going to support stress and they're going to support the most common genetic issues because I built those protocols and they're in here. But then these go to the next level. So we have, for example, this is um, a focus one. And so it has a gut brain connect connection, uh, gut brain support it has brain clarity. It has different components all related to attention. Each one is unique. And you can go on our website and learn more about it. But it was designed for not just the protocols, but what's the time length people need. So sometimes people do an hour right before they go to work or school. Um, sometimes my kiddos that use it or adults need it, you know, after school or work. And a lot of people are doing an eight hour protocol, which is really designed to sometimes people use it during the day. Um, and sometimes during the night, we have lots of, um, 
explainers. Once people buy a device, they have a portal access and it's really helpful um, to do that. But I'm a huge fan. I'm out here talking about it because we all need ways to calm our nervous system. Uh, I, As I said, I use mine daily uh, and it's an important part of my health journey and my family's health journey and a lot of my clients that I work with and people are enjoying it. It's easy. It's accessible. And I knew that, for example, my mat that I have at home, I just didn't use that much because I don't want to slow down and sit. Um, so as long as this isn't in water, you can use this during the day. As I said, you can use it at night. You can use it at different points in different ways. Uh, Dr. Rowe is always need, needing to calm her nervous system down because I'm a spaz and I have a lot of things going on and your body doesn't know a difference between good or bad stress. So it's a wonderful tool and people are really using it to improve their physical and mental health uh, to get help. Not everybody can work one-on-one -on -one with me and that's okay because you can get the Calm PMF. You can, you know, take one of my courses. You've got to start. You've got to pick one thing and do it. So um, keep it for all my fellow parents who have kids that are neurodivergent or struggling, or maybe it's for yourself, right? This isn't just for uh, everything I do. Yes, we focus on kids and families, but this is for adults too. So believe in yourself, believe in the power to to regulate your nervous system and change can happen.